MJ Pro has one of the most advanced stem separating features called Neuromix. And with the 5.0 update, it got even better. And in this video, I'm going to show you all about it. All right, the first place that you are going to find Neuromix is going to be here in classic mode. This is called the Neuromix slider, and this is the easiest and quickest way to use Neuromix. So down here, we have the Neuromix symbol right here next between the crossfader and the temporary Q buttons. Now, when we press it, we're going to have some really simple options all the way to the right is going to be vocals only. So listen to the song. And then all the way to the left is going to be instrumentals only. So right there is the simplest way that you can make mashups with acapellas and instrumentals. Simply with one track, you could go all the way to the left and there'll be no vocals or all the way to the right and there'll be no instrumentals. This is great if you're mixing two songs together and you're, it's kind of a song you're not that familiar with. You could turn the vocals off so you don't make uh, the big DJ mistake of playing two vocals at the same time. You could just slide this slider over here to the left. And then you can adjust this a little bit by pressing this hidden drop down menu over here. You press this drop down menu. And then now it can go from instrumentals to acapellas, which I just show you, or per percussive to tonal. And then you could also change it from a slider to button. So instead of a slider, you can just quickly make it vocals only or instrumentals only. I like to keep it on the slider, but it's up to you, whatever's easier for you. And then that's how you do it. But there are a lot more ways to use Neuromix in this amazing app. And we're going to go over here to select our features. It's going to be the same thing in pro mode over here. And we still have that Neuromix slider. I'm just going to go back to classic mode because everything is a little bit bigger and easier to see. So now... The first one is going to be Neuromix. It says Neuromix right there. You're probably going to start on the three band. This is the standard one that we start with. And then that is a slider for the drums, a slider for the harmonics, and a slider for the vocals. And then these buttons here will either make it only one or it will take it away. So let me show you. So it gives you a lot of control. You can either blend them in nice and slowly with these sliders, or you can cut them out or make it only one of those elements. So they give you a lot of control, uh, a lot more control than just using this slider down here. And then now we can customize it even more. We have a hidden drop down menu over here, right next to where it says Neuromix. We're gonna drop that down. And then you could, mix, you could keep it at three bands, but instead of drums, harmonics, and vocals, you could do drums, bass, and melodic. Depends on what type of music you DJ with. For the type of music that I do, kind of pop music, hip hop music, stuff like that, a little bit of EDM, the drums, harmonics, and vocals works perfectly for me. I have control, full control of the tracks and I can manipulate them the way I want them. And then we could switch it to two bands. So just instrumentals and acapella, pretty much the same as if you were using this slider down here. It makes it a little bit simpler if you find that you don't use the harmonic slider. It is easier if you don't have to see it and you don't have to get distracted by it and just have these two sliders for you to use Neuromix. And then you could even, uh, I don't know anyone that does this, but you could go to four bands. So we got drums, bass, harmonics, and vocals. So that's if you want to get really involved with it and have full control. That is the four band Neuromix sliders and you get a lot of more control. I recommend keeping it in the middle, keeping it at the three bands. One thing I want to get out of the way is with Neuromix, you can no longer use songs from Tidal streaming service. You ha do not have access to Neuromix while you're using songs from Tidal. So keep that in mind. It's not the end of the world. It is not algorithm or DJ's fault. It is something to do with the licensing of these streaming services. So just keep that in mind, but it doesn't affect Neuromix for any other music source. All right. And then now we could access Neuromix 
in some of the effects and some of the features. So if we go from the Neuromix section over here, in the middle is going to be our loops section. If we go to bounce, and you might be on pad, you just have to use this hidden drop down menu to get to bounce. And then we go over here to this drop down menu, we could choose whichever part of Neuromix that we want, choose that, and then we have, and then we can bounce just the vocals. So if we press this one over here, so it will just bounce the vocals, or if you select the drums or the harmonic harmonics, it'll just bounce that. And then now also we could go to effects. Now when we select our effect, if we go down here to the deck, and then now we could select these effects to be an element of Neuromix only. So you could set a reverb on the vocal, set a reverb on the harmonics, set, set an echo on the harmonics. You could have really, really precise control of these effects with the different stems of Neuromix, and it's really awesome. And also, you can map Neuromix into any controller. So if you want to learn how to map how to map controllers, check out this video over here. Thank you.